So if you're enjoying our content, hit that subscribe button now and be in with a chance to win a signed copy of our very own book, Happily Never After. Hello and welcome to The Therapy Crouch with me, Abby Clancy. And me, Peter Crouch. Oh, well rested, are you? Well rested. And you're so tanned and I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> it really annoys me how brown you go. I wasn't in, in it loads. You were? More than usual, maybe. I don't put my face in the sun anymore because mm. I spend the whole year going to Natalie Kelly to get my pigmentation lasered and helped. So now I'm like factor 50. I put it everywhere. Like my, I just don't tan like you, unfortunately. Whereas I just put pigmentation all over my face. <laughs> <laughs> YOLO. This is the result. <laughs> We've just got back from Sicily and it was the most incredible trip. When I say what a beautiful place what I can't get over how gorgeous it is there. Yeah, no, it was lovely, yeah. Obviously, we, we, when we arrived, we, were, we weren't sure because it was... Raining. Grey. Oh, bit, God. And, and it was raining. But we got over that very quickly. But everything just looks so much better when the sun's out and the sun did come out and uh, it was phenomenal, wasn't it? It was so mm. such a beautiful place, somewhere I'd definitely love to go back. Um, and really nice to be it. on our own, wasn't it? For, lovely. For Should we bit. rewind... Because, you know, a few weeks ago we talked about the lost iPads. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's caused a lot of uproar on our social media accounts. Oh, really? Yeah. What What's the general consensus? We've actually got a bit of a 50-50 split on who was, a, who was to blame there. I might put a bit of a poll out, actually, later and see. Poll would be good, yeah. Yeah. How could it possibly be a near 50-50? Uh, well, because some of the fellas might be scared to argue with the wives and say that, that, that you were in the wrong. No, and just to agree with their wives for an easy life. Did we have any comments? What were they saying? Absolutely in Pete's corner with this one. Um, Abby being absolute princess here, can't believe it. And then there was some being, Peter, you absolute tool. How did you not notice that the bag was a lot lighter? Just comments like on that general vein. Just common sense. Someone call me an absolute princess. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We get that a lot in the socials. <laughs> queen. It's <Yeah>. queen. <laughs> now, so we got the iPads back. <gasps> Can you believe? What? We went to we the same We got them back. Airport. They called us and said we found them like a couple of weeks later. So I was like, oh my God, I can't believe this. So before we went through security, we had to go to Lost Property and get them. Yeah. And it was funny because the guy who guided us through was producer George's best mate. Oh, yeah. He's his mate. So he brought us through and I couldn't be in there because the room stunk, lost property. God, it was like a smell man. pit. My weekly wine is this uh, lost property in this particular airport uh, because you got paid 25 quid to get your own stuff. What? So you lost something at the airport, right? You go in there and like bearing in mind it's like behind glass. It's like visiting, you know, yeah. a, a prison. Uh, but so because I imagine people go fucking ape shit when imagine if the airport had lost your bag or something, and you had to pay twenty five quid to get it back. Not on that. Like granted, this was Abby's fault. The iPad situation. So <laughs> you know, I didn't mind paying the twenty five pound, but still twenty five quid to get your own stuff back. Cheeky. Bit mad that I thought. Yeah, because you've already got a room there. Where's that money going? It's like me going, you know, if, if someone's iPad is left on the floor, it's like me picking it up and going, you were going to leave that. 25 quid, please. <laughs> mm. It's just, you just... Or you if just... you found someone's stuff and put it in lost property and then they had to pay 25 quid to get it back. Like... Maggie's inside the piano, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Hold the podcast, the cat's in the piano. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that was good. Airport app was nowhere to be seen. Oh, good. Mm. That's true, isn't it? Yeah, it was true, yeah. On the way there. Because we had no... What? Yeah, it was true on the way there. So you're saying on the way back? Ah, there's, there's, there's a hint of it. Tiny, tiny hint. Nothing major. You How? Were, you were great. Where, where was the hint? Just an element of it. Just an element, like an undercurrent of we're going to the airport <laughs> now kind of thing. But it's totally fine, like all good. That's because Ma- you forgot to download the bloody audio book. <laughs> <laughs> Bearing in mind, the audio bit was a large part of our holiday. Yeah. Massive part, wasn't it? Oh, my God. We are so sad, but I loved... You know, I think you beat yourself up for doing what you do on holiday. You know, when we didn't go out for dinner, I'm like, is it bad that we're not going out to din- for dinner and exploring it? But it's like, we just want to be in bed mm-hmm. in our robes, listening to Martina Cole audiobook. 
yeah. with an ear each. We we just got so into it, and obviously we were listening together. And obviously, Av was like, "Can we can we do?" The, but it was it was once where we, Av was like, "Can we go out for dinner? Do you reckon we can listen to our book in there?" <laughs> I was like, There's no way. That's too sad. There's nothing worse so than. You know, this book, it was, you just couldn't put it down, could you? <laughs> no, it was, it was, a, it was a belter. Martina and Carl again, obviously. And it was, a, it was, it was, it was really... We forgot to buy books at the airport, so Pete had the great idea to download one. That was a good thing, isn't that? To, uh... I mean, listen, hold that thought, right? Before we get into what we did on holiday, or how boring we were on holiday. I've got some wines here. Okay. Should we help, help first? Uh, hello, I uh, heard you uh, all left a couple of iPads at the airport and I can commiserate. When I was moving back home to California after graduating uni, I got my bag pulled at Manchester Airport. The result was the same kind of situation Pete found himself in. My laptop was in a completely different spot than the rest of my stuff. So when I went to repack my bag, my laptop was on the other side. I've also had about 90 minutes of sleep since my friends had thrown me a moving away party the night before. But excuses are like arseholes. Everyone has them and they stink. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Mine doesn't stink. Uh, <laughs> doesn't, so it doesn't. Uh, <laughs> lo and behold, when my plane landed in the US, I went to unpack my bag. Clear security checkpoint at US Customs. I start panicking because my laptop's nowhere to be found. Even after I got home to California, I was absolutely panicking. I was applying for jobs at the time, so all my applications, my CV, my thesis were all on my laptop. See, that's why you should just not have a laptop. Mm. All the trouble <laughs> she's put herself in. <laughs> it's true, but people do have laptops. I've never had a laptop. Haven't you? No. Look at you. Or an iPad. Mm. Just use everyone else's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've never used a laptop in my entire life. You believe that? It's a decent claim to fame, really, <laughs> isn't it? You've never you needed a laptop. Do you, you haven't got one either. I have got one. <laughs> you haven't somewhere. You've never had one. I have had one. You got given one once. I'm not a laptop person, either. <laughs> yeah. You do everything on your phone these days, don't you? Can't you? you? Don't need one. I think you only got one if you need to look important. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I filed a claim and woke up at six a.m because of the time change, to call multiple times, but to no avail. Naturally, the airport kept claiming they could not track it down. Thankfully, one of my old roommates was travelling through Manchester, and he was uh, able to stop at the lost and found and check them with me. Apparently, it was in the pile of lost stuff, waiting to be transferred to the pile that would be sorted. He was able to ship it back to me, and all uh, all's well that ends well. I hope our story has a good ending. Well, as you see, great, Brent, very long, bloody winded. Fantastic, Brent. <laughs> God. <laughs> Cut to the chase. <laughs> Why say sentence with a paragraph will do? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Although that's the opposite of what I tell my daughter when she's doing her homework. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. These are our listeners, you know. Like, I, know I love, I love our listeners. Out. I love them, but I knew I knew where snap I was ya. going. Snap ya. And it, no, I don't want them all snappy, but Bert. Bert Brent. 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 Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, it's very similar to our situation with the iPads. <laughs> Is that just said that? Well, it is. You know, we got it back. You know, and it's like he he, he got his back, and uh, you know, as much as I've just caned the, the airport there, you know, there is justice in the world. They've got it back, but you know, did you have to pay twenty five quid, Brent, <laughs> or or thirty thirty five dollars, <laughs> <laughs> whatever the exchange rate is? <laughs> Don't know the exchange 35 rate. Thirty five bucks. Look at, I'm gonna left. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm glad that story ended well. All right, I've got a weekly shine here. This tees up the rest of the pod, really, because it's quite quite shiny, our pod, isn't it? Mm. Shiny! Uh, huge fans of the pod, been listening from the start. Just thought I'd write in after hearing that you're off to Sicily. Oh. Um, well, stay tuned, because we'll tell you all about it in a minute. Uh, I've just got back from 10 days over there. It's absolutely incredible. We had five days in Catania, where we flew into. It's the most dangerous part, Sicily. Yeah. And five days into Palermo. Managed to get tickets to uh, Catania versus Atalanta under 23s games which saw Catania get promoted to uh, Serie B so the atmosphere was amazing god that sounds like we, we should have gone together <laughs> you in the match eh? I <laughs> think there's a bit more on the next page oh, yeah I didn't feel oh, like uh, the highlight though was definitely Palermo we never went to Palermo did we no yeah. we don't like to move on holiday though do we oh, no. But she says here, what an amazing place, amazing food, amazing wine, amazing beaches. What more could you want? If you're heading to Palermo, be sure to visit Mondello Beach. It doesn't get much better than that place. I hope you have a good one over there. Oh, and another thing to mention, I went to Bono's Stories of Surrender show in Manchester. How bloody good was that? 
Love to hear you're both U2 fans. My best mates have been giving me stick for years for being a U2 <laughs> fan. Anyway, cheers for a laugh. Josh? I think people who do not like U2 are not well. <laughs> <laughs> That's they another quote. Be trusted. I want that in. Yeah, yeah. Inverted commas. Abby. Every single song is an absolute tune. Every single one. They're not well, baby. Listen, they're, they're tunes. Can't deny it. An original? Yeah, Fucking please. hell. Don't anyone slag enough you two on this podcast. <laughs> um, yeah, Sicily. We never went to Palermo, though, did we? It's a shame. Because we only had five, five days, four days. Two of them were raining. It's <laughs> oh. absolute bugger. And we wanted to chill, really, didn't we? Yeah. But let's get into it, right? Let's, yeah. let's, let's start the let's start it, right? We 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 were in Sicily. We obviously got very hooked on this book, <laughs> and um, yeah, it got to the stage where we we just had, we just had an earpiece in at all times. <laughs> we were taking in the surroundings. Do you think that's bad. No, because we wanted to chill, and that's what we were doing. We were on in the ocean, going through caves, the caves of lover, mm. listening to. Martina Cole, one ear each. I hope someone get murdered or something like that. That's what yeah. really dark. Yeah, yeah, back in like Soho. <laughs> yeah. It was nine hours. We had nine hours. Was it nine hours total? Yeah, it was eight and a half. Eight, yeah, that's under nine hours of the book. And you've and you's done it in? Well, we did it. In, yeah. We did it? Wow. Three days. Oh God, when you look at it like that. Yeah. To be fair, that's not too bad. A couple of hours a day. No, that wasn't too bad. And listen, yeah, there was one part we went out for dinner, we, it was a Saturday night and we were walking back to the hotel. We'd had a few drinks. Went past what looked like a club. Yeah. And uh, oh, there's a club there. Could go in there. That looks fun. No, oh, I said that. Or we could <laughs> go back to the room. It's chapter 19. So it's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I can tell it's going to be a good one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and we went back and did chapter 19. But we didn't want to go home feeling hungover. We wanted to come back feeling rested. Refreshed. We did drink too much. Mm. Can, I, can I just ask so when you're listening to the audiobook together are you just like lying in bed like just staring at the wall like in silence like are you doing something else or, or what no we're just lying there you're just lying there like that we were either there was two options there was just kind of drinking wine on the balcony yeah <laughs> we didn't it. do that we didn't listen to the book then did we not no are you sure I'm certain <laughs> okay we didn't after we'd finished drinking on the balcony we went we put it in we, we, yeah we put it in <laughs> And then we listen to the book. Yeah, but... <laughs> um, no, it's like when we were sunbathing. Oh, okay. Oh, that's fair enough. Yeah, so we're lying just on the sunbathing. I'm just Beautiful. imagining you rushing home and just sitting in bed, <laughs> eyes forward, silent. No, we would we would lie by the pool. Oh, okay. You know, it was great view, like really tranquil. Little, we were loving Baileys on holiday. Yeah, we had a couple of Baileys <sighs> on ice. weren't large enough though, were they? We had to keep telling them that you got to fill it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, just, I just find it, I absolutely find it remarkable when someone brings you a single Baileys. I know. It's like one sip. Just like literally I, I, just swimming in ice. Yeah, to make it like, a little bit deeper. You can't even drink it with the ice. There's nothing in the cup. The ice hits your It's nose. like what you give the waiter to say you've finished. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We sound like alcoholics, but we're no, not. No, but you know, we do, you, do, you do need it. Uh, and there was the odd time where we had a kind of drink on the balcony, but that was as far as our drinking went. And I remember, like, obviously ringing the room service, like, to get a, perhaps another bottle of wine. And uh, whenever you answer the room service, you have to say their dialect. You repeat their dialect back to them. No, you do. I, I, do, I do it everywhere I go. So they'll say, he would say to me, Buena sera. And I'd say, Buena sera. <laughs> Can I get some of that Pinot Noir? <laughs> I go, Buena sera. Pinot Noir, please give me that. <laughs> Drinking Pinot Noir, we were we were we were drinking a, a local. Why well, do wine. that? Why do you do that? Like uh, you used to do it. You just don't answer the phone anymore. People... I hate answering the phone because oh, I, I know it's just going to give me a headache, like a problem, mm. a problem that needs a lot of explanation to be solved. You don't yeah. want to say Buenos Aires. Buenos Aires. No, I do say that. Yeah, I don't. What about the staff just coming into our room? What about the like cleaners and that just coming into our room like every two seconds? I've never you never seen a room so Ross, well, to be clean it was so much. ridiculous. Like we had a night in. They were ringing the bell every two minutes. Everything okay? We were like, we're fucking lying here in silence listening to Martina Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fine. They kept coming in. I was like, do they I don't think know what they thought was going on in there? They kept coming in and then the phone would ring. Hi, just checking everything okay in the room. They've probably we're seen like, it. Well, they're in there, 
but there's no noise at all. From, <laughs> yeah. We haven't heard them speak for three hours. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we're, we're fully invested in this book. Mm. Probably. They probably thought we were insane. It was remarkable to see the volcano. Oh, Etna. yeah. What is it? It's Etna. Etna, Mount Etna. Etna. Yeah, just bubbling. Well, they're like going away. It's active. Smoke coming out yeah, it's all, active. all day. It's active. Active volcano, wow. yeah. Amazing. You made me doubt myself then. Mm. I, don't, I wouldn't have a clue. I've never been. Yeah, yeah. But uh, you, should, you don't know about volcanoes? <laughs> Funnily enough, no, it's not my area of expertise. <laughs> volcanoes. <laughs> we know all about them now, don't we? Oh, we certainly do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I found it fascinating just to be able to sit there on a sun lounge and looking at a volcano, which is smoke comes out of it. Mm. Phenomenal. Absolutely. Mm. A wonder of the world, I think, that we were kind of just, it was just there all day. Like, mm. it didn't move. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, for us to look at it all day, it was like you've got that view of the sea and yeah. then that. It was just. The view from our hotel fantastic. was just magnificent. Yeah. Like everywhere you looked. I, I think that there's got to be something good for the soul to look at beautiful things. Oh, 100%. Don't you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. It must do something to your insides. That's why I'm so happy to hit you every day. <laughs> Shut up. What? Do you want you to are a thing that? of beauty. I'm not. You are. Piss exactly off. Exactly what you are. Um, the lady on, on reception as well, she was from um, like Hawaii. and uh, She's from Guam. Yeah, she's from Guam, but she, she, she feels that Hawaiian energy, doesn't she? Why are you saying that? Because she said it to me. <laughs> <laughs> she said to me, um, are you like from the islands? I said, no, I'm not. No, and she said, just got that. You got that energy. Hawaiian energy. energy. Sure enough. I've I said, like, I'll knock the fucking energy out of it. <laughs> no, I didn't say that. I was like, what's she talking about? I didn't say that. <laughs> you said, I'll knock the energy out of her. She carries on. <laughs> I did not. She said, I had I good. said, crack She said, I was smiling. Crack off. She said, you're smiling. I said, yeah. I said, she said, uh, you've got like island energy. Hawaiian peace. The matters field. <laughs> Listen, I can't. She said it, not me. She can like, feel it. Um, these people, these spiritual people, they can feel it. You can feel the energy. And she felt it. What? You have not got Hawaiian <laughs> energy <laughs> yeah. at all. Yeah. Well, listen, I, don't, I didn't you even know what that haven't. was until she told me. She's Did from you not there. just say, like, you're in the welcome area? Of course, I'm going to smile when I walk through the door and see you. <laughs> listen, you know, you, she didn't say it to <laughs> you, know, you that's did the she? only reason. <laughs> she didn't say it to you. She said it to me. She pinpointed me. Lots of people come through the door. She said, you've got that Hawaiian energy. You're a sucker. It's magnetising. She didn't say that <laughs> at all. I made that feel. She was actually really nice, but I did think, oh, shut up. <laughs> and she said, it's Hawaiian energy. Yeah. <laughs> what was the food like? I've heard it's amazing in, in um, Sicily. Oh, yeah. So we went to the, the most incredible um, little bar in the town of Sicily. It's called Bam Bar and it's super famous. And it does this like traditional... Sicilian drink called Granita. It's like Granita. a, mm -hmm. like a, almost, I don't know what you could describe it don't as. Don't like you? I was going to say yogurt then. Sorbet kind of. It's, it's like a, an iced drink. So you could have raspberry, mango, strawberry or coffee. And then Ooh. it's got like this huge lump, like that big of like Chantilly cream on top. Mm -hmm. With a brioche. And you serve it bread. with hot, freshly baked brioche oh, and so you dip it in. <gasps> And it's just, you got the strawberry one, didn't you? Yeah. I got the coffee one, which was just. But it's amazing. Like, this fella's phenomenal. a bit of a character, and he's a character on Instagram. If you want to look at him, it's Bam Bar, right? And the people that have been there, he was showing me on his phone, he's got like Zidane, Ronaldinho, Pato was his mate. Really? All footballers, like, yeah, and you know, various other, you know, people that have been to his bar. He's a bit of a B knock. Oh, ah, yeah. It was he was great. like, I just love Instagram. I love it. <laughs> he loved it, yeah. He's like, take a picture of me and put it on, my, on your Instagram. <laughs> But he's made a real big name for himself. There's a queue down the, down the road. Q, Q around the hole. Yeah, amazing. Wow. And then obviously there was another restaurant opposite that. If you are going to Taumina, where we went, um, it is like that restaurant was beautiful as well. And they had live music on. What the was that called? Was, uh, I want to say Il Bot. Bot yeah. Il Bot. Yeah. But that's been there for since the 60s, he said. Mm -hmm. yeah, or they, even earlier. Been in the family for years. But you'd find loads of these places. You walk out of the hotel and you're in the town and you'd have loads of different kind of bars and restaurants and you could eat in all of them. Mm. Just, wherever you went, it was good. Wasn't yeah. it? People come from all over just to see this little town. Mm. And obviously it was the town from White Lotus. If you've seen White Lotus, yeah, yeah. we stayed in that hotel, um, which was incredible. 
And then obviously if you've seen it and how well yeah, it's Yeah, when I walked in, they went, Jennifer, you're yeah. back! <laughs> <laughs> but also the fellas there, like in Italy, wherever I've been, like they all just love football. Yeah. They all just want to talk about football. And then they, they, they're so knowledgeable about it, they love it, don't they? Mm. Wherever we went. I just love walking through the, the little town and these incredible buildings, mm. hundreds and hundreds of years old, and the it's museums mad, and the gardens. Like we went to um went to this amazing beach bar. That food was incredible there, Pete, wasn't it? Mm. And it was Greta Garbo's garden. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it was her house was next door. Her house and was the, next door. The pool and the gardens were everything was just so beautiful. I didn't want to go home. Mm. obviously to see the kids but I just was like I don't want to leave I just, we just loved it I just mm. feel so happy and rested and we had massages and all we did was eat and drink though yeah it was, it, it, honestly it was a lovely kind of like <laughs> just for me and I had like a very nice couples trip wasn't it yeah Pete you said you had some things on the itinerary before you went that you didn't want to reveal did you oh yeah did they come into fruition or not he was lying he was lying. He was lying. That's why it, itinerary's in your notes because I said to you, you had all stuff planned. And we get there and we know nothing. Like when I first met Pete. Flew me up there. Sorry, you know? sorry. When we first met and he'd take me on these little city breaks or these little holidays, he'd had every, everything planned. You know, he'd know the best places to go, the nicest restaurant, the most beautiful tourist attractions. Mm -hmm. And now... He's giving me one ear of his airpod <laughs> and making me oh, sit on the balcony watching Soccer Aid. It's <laughs> an absolute disaster. Oh, wow. I got about that. That's class. Oh, God. Oh, you killed me there, babe. <laughs> I, listen, I've seen some great places. We went to, like, you know, on the little boat trip, the Cave of Lovers, like you say, you know, Isola Bella. Um, <sighs> you know, beautiful, like, trips and... The restaurants that I wanted to go What's to. What's Zola Bella? That was the uh, that's the, the the bit that's carved in, you know, out of the out of the sea, the island with the the, the house on it. I was just testing it. I know what it is. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, we're testing each other now. <laughs> no, I was just seeing if you were paying attention. Yeah. Well, yeah, I was paying attention. I, I obviously advised the captain to go there. <laughs> I did. I wanted to. I wanted to go there. I wanted to see it. It's obviously. A, a very uh, it's a landmark yeah it's very famous mm. so yeah we went there We is there anything that we didn't do that you would have liked to have done no yeah we did it all I think so I think so even the in that restaurant we were talking about before right you know they give you an iPad now for um, for the menu right Ooh. so the wine list is on an iPad but it wasn't an iPad that I was used to you know like I can work an iPad it was a <laughs> you know, a yeah, Kindle like, or something a iPad <laughs> <laughs> Next to Pete's just, Pete's just taking selfies of himself, like the menu disappeared, so, and Pete's looking at himself. Joking, <laughs> like, literally, I, I just look like an old person. They handed me this thing, right? And I was like, Fuck, you want it? <laughs> I ended up, oh, God, have a look at that. It was just a selfie of me. <laughs> so I had to hand it back, right? I managed to get rid of it. Oh, well, I don't know how that works. Hand it back. So they've just got a selfie of me. Like trying to work it out. That'll be on the wall. The That'll be on the wall at some point. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable, yeah. It was on photo mode because you're obviously supposed to take a photo of the menu, are you? Just the oh, barcode? What the hell? No, idea. no, it's not one of those. No, it had the wine list on it. I imagine I eventually got back to the wine list and picked obviously the second um, most cheapest one. <laughs> <laughs> Went straight to uh, not the granite one, the one just after that. <laughs> Then handed it back. Yeah, we'll That's have this one. That's such an ick, you know. <laughs> well, getting the second cheapest. No, you're not supposed to say these things out loud. <laughs> what? I don't care if you get the cheapest one or what, but just don't say it. What? Because you make yourself sound cheap. No, <laughs> what are you talking about. I just don't. I don't know enough about wine to pay thousands for it. Unfortunately. Well, you, you would be paying thousands for people, a wine. People do. If you're into it, you do. They don't. They do. Oh, so you didn't fancy Palermo now. Oh, I, I definitely do, but we just didn't have enough time. I didn't want to be traveling for a day, you know. Like, yeah. it's quite. I didn't realize how big Sicily was. You can get to uh, lots of, what? like, it's you yawning through your nose. <laughs> I can't stop yawning today. You, you can't, like, you couldn't see it all in the five kind of days we had. Mm. Could you? It was massive, no. like, 
And also, it's traveling there. You know, it took us an hour and a bit to get to the hotel from the airport. Yeah. They want to travel more. So mm. we, I would like to do it again and, and just go to a different part of, mm. of Sicily. That's nice. Definitely. Would you, was it somewhere you'd go back with the kids or no? Would you, was it more like an adult holiday, do you think? You, you I'd like to kids. go with the older ones because yeah. it's all it's all walking and sightseeing and look at this. Like, like the baby, like Jack especially would be like, carry me now after. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And it's like walking up a million stairs. It's like obviously, you know, like right, by, town. right by our, our hotel you walk up and it's like a, the Greek amphitheatre. Mm-hmm. Right, you know, which oh, is incredible. absolutely amazing. But you know, The ruins. J- Jack's not going to want to go and yeah, look at yeah. that. Whereas Sophia, I think, would be would be interested by that. Mm. And the history and all that behind it is just it's phenomenal, isn't it? He took me to a plate shop. Oh, there you go. I doubt my sleeve, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> mm. Did you buy anything? No, I didn't. We kept saying we'll go back and get it, but we didn't. Like Ab wants a whole set. I think if you're buying one plate, like they weren't cheap plates. Mm. No, but I I want like I need like twenty of each plate. What I mean, like in three sizes. <laughs> yeah, and I, I, I don't think we were paying kind of. They were tourist prices, weren't they? Mm. Like most people go in and buy a plate. And yeah, yeah. Stop yeah. into Sicily. I don't think you get a whole set from there. No, that fish was twelve hundred euros. <laughs> like a pottery fish, half a fish as well, just its tail. <laughs> they put on the wall. I was like, that's nice. It's twelve hundred pound. I was like, what? I can make that. <laughs> I can no, make I've that. Ma- I made, I've made three stone hedges. <laughs> Made three stone hinges. Give me a pottery wheel. I'll make that. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, though. I know. I agree. I agree. I thought it was, it was informal. It was informal, like clay work. Yeah. I was like, I could smash that. I could smash that. Do you know what I would have liked to have done? It's the Godfather tour. Oh yeah. <laughs> as cheesy as that sounds. I've I never it... seen the Godfather though, <sighs> so I think we should watch, watch it, it and first. then. Yeah, it's. I mean, yeah. It's legendary, isn't it? But what you could buy in it in the town was I very almost I was so close to buying it was basically like Don Corleone was on a on a cup, but you hold it and it's a gun. It's like <laughs> the cup, the, obviously the, the end of the pistol, and then you hold the gun. Like, <laughs> that's what I could sit here now and just have a, a little sip of that. It was pretty cool. That's ridiculous for you. Yeah, that but is I, I, I thought I wanted to just buy it and sneak it in my own case. <laughs> you bought sack. a cream cap. Did you? A what? A cream cap. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? Why is that funny? Though? What? Isn't it? <laughs> Why is that funny? Cream cap. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't. I, I find it funny as well. I don't know. I don't know why that's funny. I, I like the cap, it's cream one. You ready really get again? <laughs> I'm worn it since. Yet yeah, Sicily is a definite must. Okay. Just, oh, someone got engaged in our hotel, didn't they? Yeah, lunch. just sitting at, sitting eating lunch, and so, the guy got down on his knee and proposed to her. Oh. I know, so gorgeous. The the setting for lunch was was phenomenal. Like you just overlooking the kind of the sea and the mount and the. Mount Etna's there. That was like, so, so nice. Oh, it was amazing, wasn't it? That mm. view for lunch. Like it was a nice place. And to the get people, engaged. everyone was so everyone was so lovely there, wasn't it? That mm. that hotel we were in was just magnificent. Just gorgeous. And it used to be an old monastery. Mm. So like one of the kings. One was it one of the king not a king. <sighs> like royalty in Italy. Yeah, there's been royalty there, yeah. For the for these monks. So it was a monastery and like... <clears throat> it was a gift to the monks, wasn't it? Gift to the monks, but so many like... Fit, like the Kennedys stayed there, you know, so many movie stars. Yeah. Like old, old Hollywood. Like there's a lot of history there. It was incredible, wasn't it? Yeah, it was nice. You sitting in the courtyard and just thinking about all the people that have walked around these. And even the monks, you know, like walking around. You think about it. Amazing, isn't it? Mm-hmm. We saw really a monk as well. Yeah. What about since you've been back? What have you been up to? Straight back into work, exhibit A. Oh yeah, how's it? How's that all going? Incredible. I, you know, the my chat with Roxy, who I just think you know she's amazing, and I really, you know, that whole manifest and thing. Before I, I interviewed her, I was a bit like, mm, I'm not sure about this. It, it's just a case of sitting here going, I want a mansion, I want a mansion, and you get it. But it's, obviously, it's a lot deeper than that, and you know, it, this kind of self improvement and this mm. work that you can do on yourself i just think 
it's really beneficial because everything else starts to fall into place if you feel good about yourself. And I think being kind to yourself and having these kind words to yourself is a good thing. So is that out now? It's out now. I interviewed Freya Aspinall, who, you know, the Aspinall family, yeah. the biggest. I was really interested when you were doing that, like, I'm dying to know what her life was like. Well, she's been born into this family who the great-grandfather, the grandfather had a bear and a lion as a pet. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, so I mean, then he, open, he, 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 no, he opened up this zoo and then he had gorillas and giraffes and... You know, Freya firmly believes in these animals should be released into the wild. The good thing about their parks is that they do the breeding, the breeding endangered animals. So for them, like if it wasn't for them, a lot of these animals would be extinct and then they're putting oh, yeah. them back into the wild. So Freya, like, and she's so young, she, she, she goes into the cage with gorillas, huge, huge gorillas. And, you know, a father... It was like that Damien. Since she's been a baby, she's been playing with all these animals. She's hand-reared two lion cubs. And oh. they're about to be released back into the wild. Just an incredible... But, you know, no, for someone so she... young to be so <clears throat> kind of... Her outlook for the animals is just incredible. Mm. The thing is, with obviously doing Exhibit A, I'm getting to meet these incredible people mm. who I'd never normally meet. You know, you might not need, you might not even need to be into animals or into manifesting or property, but I, I feel like I've learned so much from these people. They've mm. inspired me. You know, it's it's just so interesting mm. because you can go day to day life doing your mundane things, your job, and you don't realize all these lives, all the different lives people have got. And I don't know. It's just I'm just absolutely loving it. I'm feeling. You know, I wanted to feel enriched mm. are they are they uh like kind of enriching you as much as, as i do on a day to day <laughs> <laughs> yeah they, they are. are they are no, they, it's, it's just inspiring <laughs> i just love hearing about people's journeys and their passions and their beliefs and mm. you know if you can listen to anyone no matter what it what the topic is and it can inspire you or change you in some way for the better that's positive so yeah okay so you're enjoying it i'm loving it more of the same more of the same. Yeah. I just hope people are loving it as much as I love mm. doing it. Yeah, good. Okay. Well, Ab's going to Taylor Swift. I managed to get tickets for uh, Taylor Swift for her, her and the girls. Nice. Um, so there. Yeah. I obviously that that was you know when I kind of broke the news that I've got like got a few tickets and it's easy to go with the girls and all. They're so excited. So they've all started a group and I happened to just uh, have a look at this group <laughs> and they were uh, brainstorming outfits. They've got a mood board. <laughs> That's not unusual. That's I, to me. I, I mean, that blew my mind. He's they going to a concert. They've got a mood. There's <laughs> all of them got mood boards. Yeah, but bear in mind, I'm taking my daughters and their friends. My sister Alfie. You know, the kids are crazy on this Taylor Swift. <laughs> they are. To be fair, the Swifties to call themselves, don't they? The, what do they call Swifties or Swifties, something? Isn't yeah, it? I told you. I know. I'd never even heard that. I don't it's, know one Taylor Swift song. It really song. is a global phenomenon, is it? Swifty to me is a quick pint. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, when you go, I'll have a Swifty. <laughs> no, she's, you know, hats off to her. She, you know, she's she's actually going to create a billion pound for the UK industry, apparently, just Economy, from her yeah. door. She's like tourism and people going out and spending money and getting a few Swifties while they're out. <laughs> like, <laughs> Fair play, incredible. listen, you know, it's absolutely amazing, you know, and I'm sure it'd be an amazing show. Mm. So yeah, enjoy. If he didn't want to come, you're joking. I think she'll be great, uh, you know, and I think it will be great. I just think you'll have probably more fun with the uh, with the girls, girls and the gays. Yeah, lovely. True that. True that. Um, one thing just before we get onto the agony abs as well, I've got to tell you this. I went into uh, Lib asked me the other day. She said, "Dad, can you do uh, the floss? Like, how'd you floss?" And I, so I was standing there going. <laughs> um, well, like, and I was trying to do it, and then I got it, and then I went, it's just like that, babe. And she went, no, she had the, like, the, the, the little floss <laughs> in her hand. <laughs> and I went, oh. I was, <laughs> I was, she get upstairs, I'll show you. <laughs> I was going for ages, I was giving you how to do the dance. Rainbow's the fact that she let you go on for ages, she, she let me go on for ages, look then at this she dickhead. pulled it from me, I was like, look at this, you knob. Yeah. <laughs> 
She didn't call you a nut. No, she, no, she was she thinking it. Probably thought it. Yeah. <laughs> you probably thought it. I just thought I was crying. Like, we were both howling laughing. That is so it. good. It's so funny. Like, it's cute though. Oh. Guys, subscribe. What the fuck? All right, agony abs. Hi, Abby and Pete. First of all, I absolutely love the pod, so thank you for putting an extra smile on my face weekly. However, I need your help. Me and my boyfriend have been together for just over two years and his wonderful parents have let us live with them whilst we find our dream home, which I'm beyond grateful for. Why does that sound sarcastic? Well, I'm just, oh, I'm I just lining up the fact that she <laughs> fucking but hates the... them. But there is a problem. Every time we sit down to eat, I am tormented by them eating with their mouths open. Now I know it's not our home. And like I said, I'm so grateful because um, they're helping us. But I'm a big believer in it's your home, do what you like. But it's gone to the point where it's that noisy and the swirling uh, sound of saliva being whirled around their mouth mouths is grating on me not only this but they talk with their mouths open too there have genuinely been times where i've said i'll eat later to avoid this or i'll say i don't feel well whilst they're eating as the sound goes through me please help the thing is when you hate someone if it just, just saying she hates them well she probably does why does in-laws? she probably does they've let them in to their home they're not when someone gets in your head over something, anything to do with it, it you though, doesn't it? That's what I was just supposed no, to say. No, I just think it's no, no one wants to no one wants to live with someone else, do they? They want to live with well, their family. I live family. with you. No, apart from their partners. You don't want to live like you, I wouldn't want to live with your mum and dad, that you wouldn't live with mine. Do you know what I mean? It's not like even friends, as much as you love them, you don't want to live with them. Yeah. yeah. And Agreed. I think things great on you, and obviously that. Well, and nice. once you notice something, <laughs> once it gets on, on, you can't unsee it, can you? <laughs> no. <laughs> what are you it's just funny because you can't. You can't. Once it grates, it grates. Imagine them eating the duck. <laughs> Every night, you be like, will you fucking shut up? Because <laughs> this day one day, it's just going to blow. <laughs> fucking keep your mouth shut. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> Do you imagine you just blew your lid like that? I think that about me with this brace and when I eat. Like, because, you know, it's so hard. Well, you don't, like, you don't sound, it doesn't look bad or sound bad. Just. What are those, um, is it a giraffe? If you eat the clear. If you eat the clear. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how you eat. I knew you were going to say that. If that's how you eat. What? Like that? Yeah. I, I eat like that. When you eat in crisps, you do. I don't eat like that. I actually <laughs> eat crisps quietly. Who's who? I know. In the, in the I history, don't really eat crisps. Well, if you eat crisps, they're gonna make some noise. Mm. Unfortunately, I don't think I eat like like Just that. Just suck a Watson, shut up. <laughs> I love skips. Oh, they're hate, silent. You could eat them silently. Yeah, I hate skips. I hate skips. I hate Watsons. Hate quavers. <gasps> I don't like the dissolvey ones. Three favorite crisps. I like, I like a McCoy's, like a meaty, beefy I'm, I'm crisp. I'm not a McCoy oh, person. Oh, you like him, he's a geezer. <laughs> yeah. He likes a scampi fry. Yeah, oh, John likes a scampi fry as well. I can't beat a scampi fry. Oh. They're up there with my favourites, top three. Well, every time I see them, I buy them. No, no, thanks for that, babe. I like that. It's a nice thing oh. you do. No. <laughs> you like... What does she do about that, this situation? She's just got to have to grin and bear it, unfortunately. She's living under their roof, and as she said herself, what you do in your house... It's just it's just humans. Humans are irritating. You can't say to someone in their own home how to eat <laughs> physically. You cannot do it. What about if she makes loads of soups? <laughs> no, because they go. <laughs> <laughs> they drink. <laughs> Slurp. Yeah. Nah, you just That's can't eat with weird. them until you move out. Yeah. Just keep making excuses. Nip out for little sandwiches. I really yeah. want to go out for dinner tonight. We can. Thought of this nice soup. Super today. Let's do it, babe. You've got a golf Let's go lesson. crazy. I'll take um I'll take Martina Cole. We'll have one here each. <laughs> God, I felt so deflated once that book was done. <laughs> well, you got to talk to me. <laughs> no, I love talking to <clears throat> babe. We only did nine hours out of five days. That's not a lot. <laughs> no, no. We 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 actually Are we still snuggling? Yeah. We, at the time? Yeah. It was nice. It was really, I loved it. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> We don't have to worry about what people think. I know, think. I know. You you always worried about like, should we be doing more? Should no, because we... I was thinking, I was thinking, are we boring now? No, I don't think we are. You're only boring if you're boring each other, and we were having a whale of a time. Yeah, 
<laughs> you know what I mean? Agreed. All right. Hi, Abby and Pete. Absolutely love the pod. Look forward to it every week. It's it's great to have the male and the female perspective on all the relationshipy and parenting situations. It's a great laugh. Having a successful modelling career and also being the parents of girls, I thought you could both help. My daughter's 13. Uh, in my heavily biased opinion, she's absolutely gorgeous. She's mentioned on a few occasions that she's interested in modelling. However, she knows you need confidence, which she does lack at times. I'm also worried about the effects of the industry, uh, how it could have on her self-esteem and well-being. I'd love to encourage her into whatever she wants to do, but would be interested to know from Abby's experience if there is room in the modelling industry for people that are less confident. And if you have any tips to help her get started and give her a confidence boost, will the industry eat my beautiful daughter alive? Oh. Annie? Well, I think 13 is a bit young at the moment to start like modelling as a career. No, but don't you do like castings and things like that? Is it sage? I don't know. Yeah, you've got to do what you love, haven't you? <clears throat> or try and do what you love. Like, comp you, I think to be in a, in an industry like modelling or anything where you're going to be scrutinised, you do need a tuss, tough skin because there's far more rejection than getting that mm. job, I'd say. Mm -hmm. And if you're already lacking confidence, maybe that's not the right thing or, you know... The flip side of that is she could go out there, everyone loves her, and then she gains more confidence as she works. Mm, that's true. It's similar, to, similar to football in some ways, there's a lot of re rejection. If you're not ready for that rejection, then it's going to be tough for you. Mm. There's a lot of rejection in football as well, you know, at professional clubs and trying to make it. Um, but you, 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 you aren't the most confident of people. I'm and, the, and I'm the least great. I'm the, least, I'm the least confident person, but my journey was very different. I went on Britain's Next Top Model. It wasn't like your typical, I'm going to go and compete with a 100 girls for the same job and mm. go on castings. I kind of had a, a different angle. And I don't know, I, I feel like I was more fearless when I was younger than I am now. You know, you're supposed to get more confident. I don't I don't feel like I am. Um, but I don't know. I, th I think if, I think something like that, a career... Or any career, you can't, you can't force people to do what you want them to do. No, they but I mean, to, she's uh, saying that she, I think she wants to do this. Uh, like her daughter, I think wants to do it. Um, she's interested in it. Would you advise her to go for it? Yeah. The thing is, you can always stop, can't you? But if you don't try, you'll never know. Yeah. Mm. Very good. Yeah. Very totally good point. Agree with that. Yeah. So give it a go. And, you know, it might not be for you later and down the every, line. Everyone I've interviewed on that Exhibit A, who are top of the game, no matter what field it is, you know, interior design, property, you know, authors, chefs, they all said they just went and did it. None of this um and ah, and they just went out and did it. Mm. And they suffered rejection along the way. So loads of highs and lows. Mm. Sometimes even more lows and highs. But you've got to just go out and do it. If there's something you believe in or want to do, or try. Mm. You just got to take that first step. Yeah, and also first there on the therapy crouch, um, actual advice. I mean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, hanging on every word there, Absolutely. Love. Outstanding. <laughs> Thank you, darling. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, listen, you know, uh, hopefully us sharing our, our little trip away has um, been entertaining for everyone. And, you know, try Sicily. We enjoyed it. Um, but we could have gone absolutely anywhere without children. And at the time of our lives. <laughs> so, and Martina. And Martina, As long yeah. as Martina was with us, we'll be fine. Yeah. But, um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it and uh, try Sicily. I just don't want people to think we're boring. I, I think people are going to envision us now lying there in silence, as you say, with one ear pod in, <laughs> listening to Martina Cole. Like, but that's not just what we did. It wasn't all that, you know what I mean? Yeah. We, we sightseed. We sightseed. We sightseed. We sightseed. We sightseed. We sightseed. <laughs> Sight saw Marjorie Daw. <laughs> we sight saw. Is that what, what was that? Is that what you say? We went sightseeing. We went sightseeing. <laughs> we went on the beach. We went on a boat trip. We went in the ocean. We explored. We had the most incredible food and drink. Mm. We laughed, talked, shagged. <laughs> clearly did. <laughs> See you next week, guys. <laughs>